Alrighty guys, Madman Mondo will come at you live from the Garden Hill Garage here in beautiful Alabama where it's raining like a son of a... Mm. Anyway, alrighty. Sean Fox Mods Jr. <laughs> Alright, we were over in the Alpha chat there and, um, and I decided to build this thing right in front of God and everybody. So I did, starting right from where we designed it to the finished product right here. Watched every solder point, every single bit of it. Ah, yes, with a slew of videos and all kinds of crazy stuff. So, anyway, Sean's a no surprise. Here it is, man. It's all done. Okay, we did your stormy cloud with lightning bolts and all that crap. And then we put a uh, we put a remote in it. Okay, with RGBs and of course we did a we have a um, what's called we have two channels. So it's a uh, it's a four channel remote. And we did your ROL. And of course, it's got a 320 gig drive. It's up on line servers on 17.544. And we have a 10 day trial of the Burge for GTA 5. Now, RGH 1.2. Well, you, you know that. Okay, but anyway, you know, I mean, you've seen it built. So anyway, we'll start it up here. And as you can see, yeah, we got all kinds of colors and all that. And you can turn off the pilot lights. And you can turn them back on, and you got red, and you got green, and you got blue, and you got you got white. You got all kinds of crazy stuff. In fact, here, wait a minute. Let me, uh, yeah, that's a little better. Now you can really see it, okay? Yeah, and you even got yellow. Wait a minute, there you go, okay, right? And then, of course, the, yeah, turquoise, too. All that kind of good stuff. Yeah. So, anyway, yeah, you're going to have a, you're going to have fun with this one, all right? And as you can see, you're off on the purge, and you're up on Alliance, and, um, well, we're going to roll through this thing, and let me show you what you got, just so you know, okay, we will sync up a controller, alrighty, and, uh, let's walk through this, alright, under emulators, okay, Genesis Plus 360, SNES 360, and MAME, you've got over 4,000 Games on there, all kinds of ROMs, everything that you could ever imagine, and then some if you like stand-up arcade games, that's where to go. It's all Retro City right there. Okay, Xbox Classic Game, now this is the original, old, old Xbox, Brothers in Arms, Road to Hill 30, and Halo. And then, of course, we have our homebrew section. All right, we have Dash Launch, XM360, XEX Menu, Zell Launch, Xbox 360 Dashboard, Voice Changer 360, Simple Name Flasher, FX Menu, Flash 360, and back to Dash Launch. Xbox Live Arcade, a myriad mind-boggling amount of arcade games, including Trailer Park King and Goat Simulator, along with Baby Maker Extreme and Baby Maker Extreme 2. All for your pleasure. Yeah. Let me know how that works out for you. And then, of course, we have our regular Xbox 360 games, okay? So we're going to roll through this now. We have Advanced Warfare, Warface, Tomb Raider, Super Street Fighter 4, Splinter Cell, Sega Superstars Tennis, Saints Row the Third, Red Dead Redemption, Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2, Hitman, Halo CE, Halo 3, Grand Theft Auto 5, Gears of War Judgment, Gears of War 3, Gears of War 2, Gears of War, Fear 2, Defiance, Call of Duty World at War, Black Ops 3, Ghost, Black Ops 2, Black Ops, Call of Duty 4, Call of Duty 3, Call of Duty 2, Bulletstorm, Epic Edition, there's a lot of duties in this, yeah, Bulletstorm, Epic Edition, Borderlands the Pre-Sequel, Borderlands 2, Battlefield Bad Company 2, Battlefield 4, and Back to Advanced Warfare. Now, to get to the original dashboard, go to your homebrew section right here. And we will go to Xbox 360 dashboard. We'll mash the A button. We'll mash it one more time. And now you are magically transported to the original dash. Okay, you will have 30 days, by the way. It's just, it just, I'll fix it. All right, anyway. Hello again, Fox Mods. You're on Alliance Live. Welcome to Alliance Live. You are on dashboard 17.544. Got it? Good. Okay. We will bypass the sign-in. As you can see, you're up, you're online, you are live. Our beautiful eyeball blazing HUD. And then over in our fifth tab, our ghost sheets and Modern Warfare 3 sheets. And then, of course, to get back to FZ Dash, just mash the A button and Xbox. Oh. And there you have it. Now. My crazy little friend. <laughs> I'm going to tell you how to get this thing up online for the first time on your network. Okay? So, pay attention to this because it's going to be rather important. All right? Now, when you first get this thing, before you go all happy, happy, joy, joy, plugging it in and all that and powering it on, if you do that, the only thing you're going to get is a 
freaking Xbox logo. You have the pretty colors, but you'll just get an Xbox logo. And it will sit there looking at you like a puppy dog. Going like, okay, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Go fetch. Where is it? Because the simple fact is, is that it can't find the damn network. So, this is what you're going to do. First thing you're going to do is you're going to pull the hard drive. There's a little button right here. All you got to do is push it on it and pull it out. Plug your Ethernet cord in. All right. Plug your power supply in. Get your controller ready. Okay. Then you can fire the mother up. Once you fire this thing up, you're going to come to the Xbox Blackboard screen. You're not going to have any pretty dashboard or anything like that. It's just going to be the plain old Blackboard screen. Slide to the right. Go to System. Go to Settings. Go to Network Settings. Okay. Click on it. You should have an IP. Test your Xbox Live connection. Now, if you don't have an IP, you better check your router because something's up with that. Okay. Because it didn't authorize this on the network then. Okay. Make sure that you have an IP. Okay. Test your Xbox Live connection. All right. It's going to check mark off LAN because it's going to find it. It's going to fail on the internet. It's going to fail on Xbox Live. Perfectly fine. Once it completely fails, shut the system down. Then, put the hard drive back on. All right? Then what I want you to do, I want you to pull this power cable. And I want you to let it sit for about three to five minutes. Okay? Because we want to make sure that the capacitors are completely discharged and that anything that was bad went away. Okay? Then, what we're going to do after that. You plug it back in, you power it back on, and you're good to go. Listen, thank you so much for your business, man. I'm glad that I was able to do this for you. I know you've been excited about it, and you know, and I'm glad that you were able to watch me do this thing right out in front of God and everybody else. Okay, but at least you know what's in it, man. So anyway, thank you so much. You all have a good one. Holler at you later. Brother, we'll be shipping it out uh, on Monday, and Lorraine will have a tracking number for you by Monday evening. Thank you so much. You all have a good one, guys. Holler at you later.